Well, hello again. It's been a while since I did one of these videos last. I'm Nails Mahoney, and we're going to take a look at another person communicating. This clip is a little older, um, but well worth it. I'm a big fan of Jim Carrey. I, uh, since I saw him, first of all, I actually saw him on a TV show in the UK, the Bob Monkhouse show, years ago, like a long time ago, before he ever made it big. And he was just incredible. He came on, he was doing all his facial stuff. Uh, he was uh, doing the whole body language thing, just contorting his body, and it was amazing. Then he showed up on In Living Colour, and yada, yada, yada. He's become an interesting character in the meantime, from his movies to who he is now anyway. But I wanted to look at him, in particular, communicating bodily. Because we can say a lot without saying anything. And this is a very short clip of him at a, it looks like a conference for Eckhart Tolle, the, the author and the, 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 the mindset person. You know Eckhart Tolle, yeah, the, the power of now. Isn't that him? The power of now. Or was it then? Power of now. Let's have a look at Jim Carrey doing this. We do want to acknowledge Eckhart Tolle, ladies and gentlemen. Jim Carrey has this uh, ability to just morph into anybody, doesn't he? I mean, if you, if you can walk on stage and people are already laughing and already reacting, then you're doing something right. There was a friend of mine when I used to do stand-up comedy, Michael Redmond, his name was. If you've ever seen Father Ted, he was Father Stone and Father Ted with the droopy moustache and the, the kind of, all right, you know, I'm fine. Have you seen Father Shortall lately? No. I, uh, I suppose he must be about uh, 80 now. <laughs> I suppose so. Father Ted, uh, he was Father Stone. But he had this great ability, Michael Redmond, the comedian, to walk on stage, say nothing, and the crowd literally in tears laughing. I've seen it happen. I saw it happen over and over and over at shows. He just walk on with this look on his face, and Jim Carrey can do that with his body. He's already communicating. Uh, and I'm a big fan of impressionists. I don't know whether you like, do you like impressionists? People who can impersonate others? I'm mad about impressionists. Always have this thing for them. Uh, when I was young, there was a guy called Mike Yarwood. Mike Yarwood was the king of impressionists in the 70s and 80s. And since, since I saw Mike Yarwood, I've always loved him. Anyway, it's a great bodily impression of Eckhart Tolle. <laughs> <coughs> The man himself. Jim has been teaching me facial expressions. <laughs> different versions of the ego. <laughs> That's a good line by Eckhart Tolle there because uh, he's very famous for just having the one expression, that kind of look on his face. So Jim's teaching me some very different expressions, different versions of the ego. It's very cool. Uh, how we present ourselves bodily is as just as important sometimes as how we present ourselves verbally. So always be aware of how you stand, shoulders back. You know that one? Shoulders back, chin out. Mm. Look like you own the place. You can get away with a lot of stuff and you can influence a lot of people and you can have a big impact on a room when you use your body well. And less of this, face touching, and more of that. Thanks for watching. I'm Nails Mahoney. I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.